The name... We're still undecided. I slept on it, we both slept on it, and we still... we still don't know. We... we have a few ideas. The... Our top ideas were, um... Yuna... Yuna Leska, Um... Sosa. Like, the Chief Keef song. And... I really like Kino. But... I don't know, maybe would it be confusing to a dog to have the word no in its name? I feel like it might be. That's the only thing. Yeah, Sosa, it's just a, it's a cute name. <laughs> I just like Kino because it's like, it's a German word and she's a, a Dachshund German Shepherd Border Collie mix. And she looks like she has the Kino bars with her coloration. Wait, I actually don't know if I can show her picture again because I didn't save any of them. Fuck, did I save them? I wonder if I did. Cause they took her, uh, they took her adoption page off because we're officially... I, I signed the contract and everything, so she's officially going home with us. So they took her adoption page down so nobody tries to steal her. It might be on Briggs? Yeah, yeah, her brother's still available. Speaking of which, if anyone wants to take home her brother... I think he is still available, but he's probably not gonna be available for long. Cause the puppies, they, they go quick in, uh, in shelters. He is a very, very sweet boy too. It was very difficult to decide between the two of them. We went with, uh, Pretzel, the girl. That's her, uh, her placeholder name that the shelter gave her. Cause she, I don't know, she just seemed really, uh, more our speed. She's a little more laid back and chill. And Bricks, yeah, Bricks loves to eat rocks. When we went to visit them, they were so cute. They were like really rambunctious and they were like crawling on us and licking us. And they loved to just run around and eat the pavement. <laughs> they loved the fuck out of eating the Bricks on the pavement. <laughs> I wonder why they named... Maybe that's why they named him Bricks, because he likes to eat them. Hold on, let me find the adoption page thingy. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, she's on his page. She is so cute. She is so fucking precious. I can't stand it. And her brother... Her brother is a... He's a little rascal. And he's super cute too. I, I love them both. But unfortunately, because we have to be very responsible as this is our very first pet that we are both taking care of together. And also, I think it's our, our first time caring for a dog like completely on our own. I've never owned a, a dog on my own before. I've only had like family dogs and I've had like friends and roommates or whatever that have had dogs. I've helped people take care of their dogs. I've, I don't know, like I have a lot of family members who have dogs, but I've never been like solely responsible for one. So I'm nervous as fuck. Dogs in LA are always gay, so... <laughs> I mean, that, there's, no, there's no problem with that. I hope my dog is gay. I hope she's very gay and very happy. She's on the left. She has like... She looks like a bat. She has like really pointy ears. And her brother is the one on the right. He has like the floppier ears. They're adorable. And they're like a lot smaller than you would expect. Based on this photo. I think it's because they're like really close to the camera, so it creates like an illusion, but they are both very tiny. She is even smaller than he is, because I think she's a girl. It's, I think it's because she's a girl. Sorry, I'm uh... My mind is fucking boggled. My mind is boggled today. If I talk like I'm like all over the fucking place right now, it's because I spent the entire day just like... Uh, deep cleaning sending a ton of fucking emails and getting all the stuff ready for tomorrow i'm so oh my god Chad, I can't. they're so cute 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 they're cute as fuck they're um ma the mom is a border collie dachshund mix and the dad they don't really know for sure what the dad was but they're guessing probably german shepherd just because of the markings that they have and i'd say uh, that's probably true but yeah she she has the like, really cute pointy triangle ears and I just love their like little black noses, like their black muzzles and her eyes are so sweet. She has the sweetest like puppy dog eyes and she has like a little uh, a little bit of black on her paws that looks like she's wearing socks and she has a little white, little white patch on her chest. 
I can't wait to take her home. I'm I'm gonna die. I'm like a mixture of like nervous, like oh my god, what how how's it gonna go? Like the first day home, the first week. What if we mess up on like training her? What if what if we do something wrong? What if uh, uh, what if she hates us? But at the same time, I'm like I'm so excited to I don't know bring home a new buddy and take care of her and. I don't know, it's like a start of a whole new chapter. I'm really, really looking forward to it. I'm so sorry, my uh, fucking avatar is messing up. Yeah, they're, they're super adorable. I already got a ton of supplies. I had a fucking long ass hair appointment yesterday. I, I think my hairstylist is like legally allowed to add me as a dependent on her taxes or adopt me as her child by now because. I was in her chair for like what felt like 10 years yesterday while she was working on my my long stupid hair. I have I have like really long and way too much hair and I have to apologize every time I get my hair done to the hairstylist and to like I don't know just everyone in the proximity. Cause it always takes at least like four hours if I'm getting it colored at least. If it's just a cut, it's just like an hour or two, but it's the price of beauty, yeah. But my, my hairstyle is super chill. I, I talked to her about how we're getting a puppy and she gave me a bunch of advice. Like told us to get pet insurance and all this stuff and gave us some recommendations for pet stores and stuff like that. Yeah, it's the volume okay on the music, sorry. I'm so fucking scatterbrained. Yeah, they're both they're both super friendly and, and sweet. I really I really hope the, the boy gets adopted ASAP. I know he will, but he, he is such a sweetheart too. In another world, if I wasn't trying to be super responsible and like realize that we only have like the capacity to take care of just one dog, especially a puppy, because puppies are an incredible handful. Puppies are insane. Puppies are basically like babies, but worse because they can like, they can run around and just like, chew everything and you never know what kind of mischief they're going to get into and they <laughs> and they don't wear diapers yeah so they can just like shit everywhere but yeah we we had to be responsible and just get one unfortunately but it's for the best it's just uh it's just a responsible thing to do because they're they're puppies and it's our first time taking a, a dog home like this and Mm -hmm. I I love them both. I wish we could have adopted them both, but yeah. It's gonna be a fun couple first months. Yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to it. It's gonna be fucking exhausting. I'm I'm definitely prepared. I know what it's like to care for a puppy. I've helped people like train their puppies before. I volunteered at animal shelters back in the day. So I understand like the hurdles that are ahead and have like a, a vague idea of what it's gonna be Take like. Um, the the lady at the shelter said probably around 25 to 30 pounds. Probably not much larger than her mom was. And her mom is a, a dachshund mix, so she was pretty compact. Not like tiny, but just like compact, like medium smallish size. Oh no, I'm gonna get a puppy tomorrow. I'm gonna get. Ah! I'm so scared. I'm so scared and so nervous. Holy fuck. I'm I'm so I don't even know how to feel. Last night I didn't get to sleep until like 6 a.m. because I was just like up in bed watching like puppy tip videos. I already know like the gist of things when it comes to like puppy training and all that. I have experience for sure, but I'm still like with things like this, I always get so scared, like, what if I forget something? So I have to, like, jog my memory and just constantly look up stuff and learn stuff. I feel like I'm gonna have to, like, I don't know, like, take a class or something. Yeah, am I gonna be a good dog mom? I hope so. I've, I've never... I've trained dogs that before. So I've, I've taken cute. care of puppies, yeah, but they've never been mine. And come. Also, have you thought of names? Names... We have thought of a few names, but we still haven't decided. I'm I'm getting worried. I I'm still torn. I don't know what to name her. I feel Not like once we like look at her physically, like when she's here, tomorrow. it'll be easier. But 
Right now, I don't know. Semi TTS fail. <laughs> I'm getting a puppy tomorrow! Yay! Yay! Yeah, let's just name her uh, Osama bin Laden. Osama bin Barkin. Osama bin Chillin. Jake Chillin all. I do like the name Yuna a lot. I had a dog growing up uh, in our family when I was very little named Titus. I, I got to name him and I, I spelled it with a Y just so it was easier for people to pronounce. But naming another dog after my favorite game would be pretty, pretty cool. I, I was surprised that Ethel was the one to suggest that. I wasn't even the one to suggest that name because I was like, I was thinking about it, but I was like, no, it'd be, I feel like it'd be selfish to just like name the dog after like my, my favorite game. But he, he was like, yo, what about Yuna? It just sounds so cute and it, it suits her so much. And it, I don't know, it made my heart grow 10 times bigger. <laughs> I gave, I gave Ethel the Final Fantasy X brain rot too.